Hey, this is Wendy Emanuel. We're going to be doing multiplication and we're also going to be doing basic algebra. So stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. We're going to say 203 times 7. That's one of the basic three digit by one digit, okay? 7 times 3 is 21. We're gonna put the one here. We're gonna put the two over here. Seven times zero is zero, plus two is two. Seven times two is 14. Okay, so it's gonna be 1,421. Okay, now we're gonna be doing three digits by two digits. Seven, 98 times 83. Three times eight is 24. So we're gonna put the four here. We're gonna put a small two right here. Three times nine is 27. 27 plus two, don't forget that, is 29. We're gonna put that two here. Three times seven is 21, plus two is 23. Now, we're gonna put a zero because we have a second digit over here. So now we're gonna say eight times eight is 64. So we're gonna put a four here, and then we're going to put we're going to cross this one here so we don't get confused. We're going to put that 6 up here. So we're going to say 8 times 9 is 72. 72 plus 6 is 78. We're going to cross this 2 here and then put the 7 up here. 8 times 7 is 56. 56 plus 7 is 63. We're gonna put that three here we're gonna put that six there don't um, when you're trying to put the answers together try not to confuse it always cross these numbers that's on top when you're doing the second digits by a third digits and we're gonna put that addition sign here we don't want to forget that we're gonna say four plus zero is four 9 plus 4 is 13. We're going to put that one there. We're going to say 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 1 is 12. We're going to say 2 plus 3 is 5 plus that one up there is 6. 6 plus an empty number up there is 6. And it's also considered as zero up there as well. So we're going to put the decimal, I mean the comma, one, two, three, four, actually two right here. So 66,234 is the answer to this three digit by two digit right there. Okay, here's another one. 4x plus 6 equal negative 10. We have a negative, you guys. Okay, so right now we're gonna to start to simplify it. We see a six plus six. You know that we're gonna subtract it. It's gonna be a negative six, I mean. You cancel it out. And you're gonna put negative six here. Negative 10 plus, remember there's an addition sign right here. We're gonna circle that right here. Negative 10 plus negative six. What, what, what will it be, you guys? Negative 16. Why is it a negative 16, you guys? It's a negative 16 because there's an addition sign right there. I know, and I know in your head you might say a negative 
and a negative together is a positive. Yes, that is true. It becomes a positive, but guess what? There's an addition sign right in the middle. So it's, it's gonna be still a negative. If it's multiplication, it's going to be a positive answer. It's going to be a positive answer. But since we're dealing with addition, with that answer, it's going to be a negative 16, not a positive. Okay, let's get back to the problems, you guys. I'm going to erase this one. Don't want to confuse you. Okay, so we have the negative 16 right here. We're going to bring down the 4. We're going to bring down the 4, which is 4x equals to negative 16. And we have to simplify it. We're going to simplify it by divided by 4 on each side. We're going to divide on each side by 4. This become an x equals negative x equals negative 4. And that will be your final answer.